Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. This is my bag for 2022, my EDC, my, this is just the best bag that I used this year. And I got a lot of bags. This one just kept coming out on top. It has some close contenders, but I'm gonna tell you about my favorite EDC bag for 2022. This is the Brown Buffalo Conceal 21. I think it's the Conceal Pack. Let me put some respect on your goddamn name. It's the Conceal Pack 21. It's in your face. I gave you my initial impressions video earlier in the year. And throughout the year, yes, I did get my hands on some other bags. I got some stuff from VanQuest and Nutsack and Vertex. But guess what? We kept coming back to the Brown Buffalo. This made is made of the Corduro, and if I'm mispronouncing it, pound sand. The Corduro fabric, it feels really good. This thing has been so water resistant. I don't think it's fully waterproof, but there's been plenty of times I've taken it on trips, day trips. I've taken it on rucks. I've gotten rained on. The items inside did not get wet. So it does have a nice level of water resistance. My favorite part of this bag, hands down this year, are two components. Number one, first off, has to be the backing. The backing on this thing allows for maximum breathability along with the webbing on the straps themselves. I did not get the super swampy dad bod sweaty back when wearing this as I often would when I wear other backs that may look better, have more exclusive design and stuff like that. But I felt more comfortable wearing this thing. I also really like this strap. I was able to put this on different luggage. The actual shoulder straps themselves, fantastic. You know, I was able to keep everything on here, move the chest cinch up and down as I see fit. One of my favorite things about this bag is there's not one inkling of a waistband, waist strap, because I told you those things make me feel fat. So I normally don't even wear those. This doesn't come with that. But on the front of this thing, I was able to easily always keep a hero clip on this thing. And I also keep my pepper gel. So everything just fits neatly on the shoulder straps themselves. It didn't fill in the way the entire year. Easily adjust, adjusting the, the chest cinch, which honestly never had to be adjusted. I mean, for what? It's my chest. And unless I'm getting incredibly fat or an incredibly big pectoral uh, muscles or getting super skinny, I wouldn't be changing the way that my chest set up anyhow. So that was very nice. It stayed in place, which I'm a big fan of as well. Now, one of the downfalls of this bag is there is not a water bottle holder on the outside of the bag, which I thought was going to be a very poor thing because my bag of the year last year was the Vertex Ready Pack 2.0. Fantastic bag, has the pouches on the outside. But you know what? Not having that on the outside, it has just definitely cleaned up the look of the bag. And I found myself most oftentimes clipping my water bottle to my hero clip in the front and just letting it hang in front of me while I walk or put it inside the bag, which we'll get to here in a second. You can also buy their accessories on their website, which allows for you to put additional packs and stuff on the bag. I didn't do that, but it does seem like a pretty durable thing if you want to do that. On the front of the bag, there's a full size pouch, which goes from the top of the bag all the way to the bottom, 100% usable space. So you can use this entire literal space and it has hook and loop. So if you want to conceal carry in front of this thing, i.e. the conceal pack, you can do that. I chose to normally just keep my camera and writing utensils in the front of this thing. So those are really easily able to get to. Now, when it comes to stains and how did it hold up to different elements and my kids, and sometimes I use it as an impromptu diaper bag and stuff like that. I mean, it did okay. There are a few stains on it. You can kind of see them right here. A few stains that kind of got on this thing and I haven't cleaned it up for this video, but it does wipe down well. Throughout the year, I have cleaned it up, but specifically in preparation for this video, didn't clean it up at all and it looks just fine. Next thing is a full, I mean a full clamshell opening. The zippers literally go to the bottom of the bag, which allows for a 100% clamshell opening, which as much as I love the Vertex Ready Pack, as much as I, the, the Vertex Gamut, the VanQuest, they just don't have this same type of full clamshell. It's similar to the only other bags on the market that are doing it this big where they're still kind of staying flat. It's kind of 5.11's Nitro line, but this bag has the high-vis, 
similar to the 511, but without so much of a tactical look. And and I was in the Marine Corps for years and I oftentimes carried a bag that was tactical. I mean, that's what we carried. So now I shy away from bags that have too much of a tactical look. It does not draw my attention very easily. This bag does not have that. But what it does have is this high this interior, these two huge slip pockets in the front are fantastic. I normally would keep my iPad here, my EDC journal. I always keep a keyboard here because I oftentimes would use my laptop at a coffee shop or wherever I might be going that day. And that just allows for me to quickly whip out and use my laptop. Then there's an entire zipper uh, pop, uh, pocket up here with, but you can also see through it, which is great. So you can see, okay, I'm missing this. I forgot my pencil. I forgot my charger. Fantastic to be able to see that without wondering, do I have everything? Other side of the bag itself still carries that high vis on the outside, but it also now takes the hook and loop feature that's found in that front pocket and the entire back of the bag has hook and loop features, which now allows, if you have different hook and loop items, such as my admin, my 511 ad utility admin, uh, pouch. You can put that up here. Anything else you want to put in here. So sometimes I will put a water bottle holder in here or I would just put my water bottle in here directly. This easily fits my 14 inch MacBook Pro. I think that it could accommodate up to a 16 inch laptop because this laptop is a 14 inch and there's still room on top. So I think it could accommodate a, 14, a 16 inch MacBook Pro, 16 inch Asus or something like that. So if that's what you got, I think you would be okay with this thing as well. And so one thing I will say about the hook and loop, it does get a little bit of a little bit of dirty in here. You know, you can pick if you're going to be taking this into the woods or anything like that. It carry it brings some of that back with you, whether it be acorns or leaves or whatever. Some of that stuff can get trapped in here, but it's just so much room in this bag. Now, super simple, quick to the point bag. Great grab handle at the top allows for you to grab this thing. I do like the vertex grab handle a little bit more being in the front where you can grab it because most of the time your bag is laying down like this and being able to grab the vertex bag from the front is a lot better. But this bag has just had so much great things about it. The only biggest complaint I have about it is the price. I mean, it's made in America, it's handcrafted, but it's $400. And it's also incredibly hard to get your hands on. That's kind of pricey when there are other bags on the market which have similar features. You can get the 511 Nitro bags. They're coming in sub $200. You can get the VanQuest Trident. That's coming in sub $200. And they, you know, some of them, the VanQuest doesn't have the high vis. The 511 bags are super tactical looking on the outside, but they're a lot more inexpensive. But if you want something that has fantastic water resistance, high quality, material that cannot be easily cut through. You don't have to worry about somebody coming through with a utility knife and just simply uh, cutting through this thing, which I don't really know how often that's happening. But when you have such good stitching, such good weaving on this bags, uh, bags like this, you don't worry about those type of instances happening. You're gonna, you're gonna get what you pay for, especially the fact that this is made in America where all the bags I just mentioned earlier, none are made in America. So, you know, you can go with a Ruck, you can go with a GoRuck, you can go with the 511, you can go with the VanQuest, you can go with Vertex, you can go with the Walmart brand, or you can go with, you know, Jansport. But if you want something that's gonna last for years and years, and you do have the pocket for it, I would re recommend the Brown Buffalo Conceal Pack 21. But if you don't wanna spend big bucks on anything like this, I would definitely take a look at last year's Vertex Ready Pack 2.0, they're selling that thing on a deep discount because they just dropped the 3.0. So because they dropped the 3.0, they're trying to get rid of the 2.0. Take a look at the Vertex Ready Pack. They're about the same size. If you want something a little bit bigger, maybe you can get the Vertex Gamut. They're great, great bags. You're gonna get them near the $120 mark, probably even lower than that because they're trying to get rid of the bags. That's something to think about. So my bag of the year for 2022, but this one is mine. Comment down below, what is your EDC bag for 2022? Is this gonna be something different? Should I pound sand for spending this much goddamn money on one bag? Let me know what the comments down below. Listen, if you're not a part of the battalion, hit that subscribe button down below. We would love to have you a part of the battalion. If this is your first time stopping by, thanks for stopping by. For everyone else, we'll speak soon.